What is up everyone? Rise to Valor back again. And today I'm going to be opening some Dollar Tree packs along with a Mewtwo EX booster box. I'm just going to turn on my light here, get my chat set up, and we will get right into it. Thank you to everybody who's joining in. I really appreciate it, guys. Guys and girls, let me not leave anybody out. But yeah, I went to the Dollar Tree today. I bought the box. Again, it is not a full box. I bought some packs. But before I get into the packs, I'm going to go ahead and pull them out of the box here. I got some Ultra Prism, some Forbidden Light. What's going on, Chris? Thank you for hopping in the stream, dude. I got some Forbidden Light, some Ultra Prism. Now, I went and I bought 10 packs of each. Uh, and I was able to grab the box because I think it looks really cool. It's got the Leafy on on the side. Yo, Brad, what's up? And it's got the uh, Necrozma on there. The, uh, uh, I think it's Dusk, uh, Dusk Wings or Dawn Main or whatever I always get it confused uh, I bought this box with 20 packs in it and did not realize that there was two packs stuck in the side of the box in between the little edge here this little folding edge here uh, so I was like oh it's not gonna be even let me go ahead and open two packs so I opened two packs of ultra uh, prism and what did we get out of one of the packs we got the Dawn Main or Dusk Main Necrozma. See, I always get it mixed up. I pulled a Dusk Main Necrozma out of one of these packs. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that some of these packs will have some goodies. Uh, I just wanted to show that to you guys real quick. Uh, I think I'm going to open the 10 Ultra Prism for today. We're going to leave these uh, Forbidden Light ones for uh, another pack opening with the other box. But I've got a Mega Mewtwo X uh, box that I'm going to open today along with these $10 Dollar Tree packs. Because there's only four packs in this box. So I wanted to make sure I had something to open. Can't really see the figure. I'll pull it out and show it to you guys here in a second. Uh, but yeah, guys, it's going to be a lit friggin' opening today. Uh, I can't wait to open it. Uh, I figured I'd get the box... I'll show you guys the cool little box that it comes with it. Pokemon, got to catch them all on it. I figured I'd keep that. I can use it for storing cards and a lot of extra bulk and stuff like that. So I wanted to bring that and show you guys that. But we opened two packs. We've already pulled a hit out of it, which is awesome. We've got this box. You can't really see the full box, but it's got the uh, little figure in it. There we go. It's got the figure in it, which uh, is not painted. So I don't know whether that's the way the figure came. Again, these boxes were before uh, my my pack opening days. So I have not opened this box yet. I do have the Mega Mewtwo Y box that I'll be opening uh, again shortly. Along with those other uh, Dollar Tree packs. But we've got, so we've got 10 of these. To open today and this box that we're going to open then after that we'll probably go and run and do uh, some Pokemon Go stuff try and get a couple other things but I'm going to crack right into this box open it up pull these packs out and uh, show you guys what goes along in it hope you get those amazing pulls today thanks Chris Mm, excuse me. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, I hope we get some more pulls. Again, this is our pull from last video. We pulled a Thunderous EX full art out of our last pack opening yesterday night. Again, new week. We get two more pack opening videos. Usually, I don't do them right back to back to back like this. But uh, new week, we've got two pack openings this week. So I'm going to uh, be opening as much as I can. Poke plays. Thank you for hopping in the stream. Hello, hello. How are you doing today? Or tonight, depending on where you're at. All right, this is the Mewtwo promo card that comes along with these uh these packs. Well, with this box, I should say. 
I will pull the packs out, set those right back here for you guys. And then here's the figure that comes along with it. Again, it's not, it doesn't have any of the paint on it. So I don't know whether this was like a mistake one or if that's just how it comes. If, if it's a mistake, then it's a pretty cool one. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Yeah, thank you, Chris. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, so we've got that. Let me get this plastic out of the way, throw it over to the side, get it all uh, second like. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Poke Plays, for the likes. Yeah, guys, we're going to open these packs. I think I will save these. Should I save these for second? We got two, uh, two Breakthrough, Ancient Origins, and... Uh, Roaring Skies. I think we'll save these for last. We'll open the Dollar Tree packs first and get right into it. See if we can pull anything good out of these. We got Infamous Big Rob in the building along with Geo. What is going on, guys? Thank you guys for hopping in the stream. What's up? What's up? We'll put one of our little stands there. Put Mewtwo up there to start off with. Um, move, move Mewtwo. Mega Mewtwo back there. Hopefully, our buddy Umbreon over here, hanging out in the corner, hopefully he gives us some luck and we can pull some, some more fire out of these packs. we got Big Geo and Big Rob in the building. What's going on, guys? Thank you guys for hopping in and hanging out. I'm going to open these first, and then we'll get into the, to the good packs. We'll set those right back there for now. But yeah, guys, I'm going to get right into it, and then we'll go do some uh, Pokemon Go stuff. Go spend our stop for the night, gifts, stuff like that. What we usually do every night about this time. It is about 11.30 at night here. So it's getting pretty late here on the eastern coast. So if you're on the eastern coast, thank you for hopping in so late. I really appreciate it, guys. If you're, uh, if you're halfway across the world, good morning to you. How are you doing today? Thank you guys for hopping in and hanging. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got a reverse hollow shaman. Right off the bat out of this. I'll take that. I don't know if I have that reverse hollow yet. Misha. What's going on, Misha? Thank you for hopping in the stream. Yeah. New cursing. PG. Keep it PG, homie. But yeah, thank you guys for hopping in the stream. Really appreciate it, guys. You guys are awesome. I'll bust right into these. Oh, And guys, with these Dollar Tree packs, again, if you hadn't noticed, there's only three cards in the pack. The center card, the middle card will be your, your hit. Again, you are not guaranteed a hit from any of these packs. So hopefully we, we can pull something. If you do pull something good... Uh, it's usually uh, it's usually it's usually super rare if you pull something good. Again, guys, I do have my chat set up on my my other phone here, so that I can read your chat. So hopefully, I won't miss anything. Ooh, we got a reverse hollow chimchar out of that one. I know, Big Rob. It always gets crazy. You guys, guys, keep it, keep it, keep it PG, guys. Come on. Come on, guys. Keep it PG. This is a Pokemon stream. We got kids watching, man. Yeah. We're going to open them, see what we get. Ooh, we got another reverse hollow, which is awesome. I'm glad to get the reverse hollows. We got the ancient crystal. Set that over to the side. I'm hoping we'll pull something good out of those. We've got six of these packs left, and six of these Dollar Tree packs. I'm hoping we'll pull something good out of these. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. These Dollar Tree packs are rough to open, being that there's not very many cards in them. Got a Yenma. 
and an order pad along with the weasel out of that one. We clear some of this these wrappers out of the way. For now, just for now. I'll have to clean them all up later. Just toss them back there on the floor for now. We got five more of these Dollar Tree packs. I'm hoping we'll pull something good out of them. Because it would be a shame if I opened the only pack that had anything good in it. Oh, we got an Eevee out of that. And a shield on along with a Alolan Vulpix. Those are pretty cute. But again, guys, make sure you guys hit that like button if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button, notification bell. You guys know the drill. Share the stream. Let everybody know we're out here opening some packs. And then we're going to go do some Pokemon Go. Oh, my goodness. I forgot to turn off notifications on the phone. My goodness. Ooh, we got a Rampardos Hollow. Nice. I will take that. I will take that. So we're going to put that in a sleeve here. Just throw it in one of these regular sleeves for now. Throw that up over there. And it's pretty fun to see uh, how much $10 worth of Dollar Tree packs compared to uh, about $11 worth of regular packs. See which packs we get more hits out of or not. I think we'll leave the two Leafeons for the end. We'll open this little Galeo one. Let's see, let's see. Hopefully we get some good juked features. Let's throw the wrappers over to the side. We got a Lickitung and a Psychic Energy along with another Breezel. All right, two more of these Dollar Tree packs, guys. Two more. Can we at least get another Reverse Hollow out of this? I would like at least another Reverse Hollow. That would be nice. Oh, we got a Young Goose and a Spirit Tomb along with the Cheruby. Set those over to the side. Last pack. Last pack of the Dollar Tree ones. Let's see what we get. Well, I know we got a Pip Club right off the bat. Out of this. Oh, we got the Heat Rotom. Oh, too many Rotoms. Too many Rotoms. My goodness. So there's our Dollar Tree packs for now. We got a couple good reverse hollows out of that, but of course, I opened the one pack that had something super rare in it. What a shame, what a shame. I wish I had opened that one pack on camera, but we're going to move ahead on to our packs from the Mewtwo, Mega Mewtwo, Xbox. <laughs> Get it? Xbox. That's decent for Dollar Tree packs. I know, I know. I did, again, if you missed it, I did open two before uh, before the stream. I found them in the side of the box, and we pulled a Duskmane Necrozma GX. So I opened off-camera the one pack that had an ultra-rare pull in it. But we did get this one, so I'm happy for that. I think we'll add that to the binder. Let me get some of these wrappers out of the way real quick guys get this bulk stack I know with my luck I would I would open the one pack the one pack that actually had a hyper rare in it so let me get rid of the bulk put that over there out of the way and again we did get this awesome cool Dollar Tree box it's got the uh, Necrozma on it and the Leafeon on the side here. So I'll be keeping that box 
put the bulk cards in it, stuff like that. Again, I'm a hoarder. I like to keep that kind of stuff. We get good pulls from the other packs, I feel it. I hope so. I hope we at least get one. I hope we at least get one. But we got one hollow out of the uh, the Dollar Tree packs. Let's see if these four packs can beat the Dollar Tree packs. We will see, guys. We will see. All right. We're going to start off with Breakthrough. Let's see what we get. And again, guys, make sure you share the stream. Let everybody know we're out here. Because YouTube tends to not give us notification. There's a code. You guys can have that code right there. Again, if you guys don't pick it up now, if anybody watches this afterwards that plays the PTCGO, make sure you guys pick up this code. We'll throw that over to the side here. Then we'll go one, two, three. One, two. Move the package out of the way here. And see what we got. We got a Flabay Bay. Centru. Cubone looking sad as always. Let's move them a little bit closer so you guys can see them. We've got a Noibat. Pikachu. Wobbuffet. Quillava. Behem, I can't pronounce that one. <laughs> uh, Smeargle, which I'm hoping they will release soon in Pokemon Go. And, oh, we got a Haxorus Hollow. We've already tied with the Dollar Tree packs out of our first pack, guys. First pack, we've already tied. We'll use our awesome po Pikachu sleeves. Put that over there we will put this we're gonna move move Mewtwo over here put that right there if it'll stand up there we go nope it's gonna get too much glare from it there we go and then we'll move on to the other breakthrough pack again guys thank you guys so much for hopping in and hanging out appreciate it it is starting to get late. Pop these open. Again, another breakthrough code that you guys can take right there. If the camera stays focused, it keeps wanting to focus on the top part. There we go. Pull that up, get that out of the way. One, two, three, four, five. And we starting off with a Routes. Noibat. Magnemite. Piplup. Pansage. Town Map. Hey, it's a little Nintendo DS. 3DS. Another Pokemon I cannot pronounce. Grand Bull. Stealing all the fruit. Reverse Hollow Gengar. Nice. And a Raichu. non hollow Rare. Nice. Alright, let me get these out of the way. That's a weird shuffle for those packs. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much... It, Pretty much just puts uh, the the uncommons behind the commons instead of putting the uncommons in front of the commons. That's all. It's just a different way of doing the pack trick. It's still three from the back. It's just uh, in front of the reverse hollow and your rare instead of just putting them in front of everything. Set those over out of the way. Uh, it would pretty much be the same thing with anything from Sun and Moon. You go four from the back, then two, and you put those four right in front of those two. Yo, Shark Stains, what's going on, my dude? 
What's up? What's up? Hashtag Gengar Gang. Heck yeah. Three to the back. Four from the front. Yeah, however you choose to do it. All right, we're going to bust into Ancient Origins on this one. Hopefully we get some good stuff. I'll give you guys this code. Again, a lot of the newer codes I'm going to be saving. I'm going to be working on a project with them once I store up enough of them. So we'll throw that. We'll just, eh, we'll take these. Just kind of chuck them in the corner there. Start a pile. We go three from the back. Normally you put them around the front. We're just going two more. And we're putting them right in front of those two. So therefore you have your commons in the front, then uncommons, then your rares in the back. We're starting off with the Gumi. Starting off with some cuteness. There we go. We've got a Wooper. That's a fighting type. That's that's different. Magikarp in the building. Got that Inke. Unknown. Nice. Hey, Rubina. Thank you for hopping in the stream. How are you doing today? Area Dose in the building. Ace Trainer. We get the Sligu. Combi Reverse Hollow and a Registeel, not Hollow Rare. We are down to our last pack, guys. Roaring Skies. Let's hope our Roaring Skies has what we need. Yo, Boosted, what's going on? We got Boosted in the building. Let me put those over there out of the way, guys. And we will get into our last pack. And then we will get ready to go out and uh, do some Pokemon Go here in a second. Alright, let's pull that out. Throw this code up here for you guys. If it wants to focus, there we go. Roaring Skies code. Do, 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 do. Grab that code. Pause the stream, go back in the stream, whatever you guys uh, use strategy-wise to get the codes. You guys take that one. We're going to flip it over. One, two, three. One, two. Put those in the front. And we'll get right into it. All right, let's try and keep them even. Not give anything away there. All right, we got the Meowth. Stealing fruit, as always. And actually, these these two cards right here are actually a story. You will see the uh, Inke in the background. And we've got the uh, Meowth in the background on this one. Well, the Inke snuck up, punched Meowth in the face, and took his, took his berry. How messed up is that, guys? Inke is a G. He's just like, that's my berry. Hey, we got the Pikachu Binacle. Last pack, guys. Let's get something. We got the Wingle, which is shiny. Well, was previewed as a shiny in uh, Yokohama for the event. So hopefully soon we will be having shiny Wingle in the game. We got Electrode. Rayquaza Spirit Link. Let's hope that's a that's a good sign. We got a Winona, Pelipper, Reverse Hollow, and ooh Non Hollow Altaria. So pretty much, guys, pretty much, the ten Dollar Tree packs compared to the Mewtwo box was about the same. We both we got. A hollow from both of those, and that was it. So points-wise, they are about the same, except that we got the hollow promo Mewtwo out of this one. So I definitely would have to say that the Mewtwo uh, promo is our card of the day. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our Thunderous. We're going to take him. We're going to add him 
over in the binder to the collection. We're going to throw our Mewtwo up here. But these are our other two hollows that we got for the day, guys. We're going to put those back there. Again, guys, we can't get awesome pulls every time. If they'll stay, we'll just set them up here. Like so. But we can't get amazing pulls every time, guys. Sometimes you just don't get the pulls. But next time, next stream, uh, pack opening stream, we'll be opening the 10 Forbidden Light Dollar Tree packs. See what we can get out of those, along with a Mega Mewtwo Y box. Which also, I believe the figure is like that. It's not uh, painted or anything. It's just, it looks like a prototype, how they would release a prototype. Which is still pretty cool. I like how that is. It's just completely uh, raw and un, un, you know, unpainted. I think that's pretty cool. So we got that. And we'll probably pull our uh, Pokemon Go up. Go out. We got about 10 minutes till midnight. So what we're going to do is we're going to go play some Pokemon Go. Get our spin for the day. Open some gifts and stuff. We're going to close this out for now. We will bust open Pokemon Go here. Put my little face at the top corner up there. And we will go out and... Uh, Hit our Pokestop for the day. Let me move myself from the corner over here. My cramped little pack opening space. Move all the uh, junk out of the way. We'll throw our shoes on. Go out. Play some uh, Pokemon Go real quick. See if we can pull a, a shiny. It's been really rough going shiny wise lately. We haven't been able to find really any shinies anywhere uh, we did get one the other day we got our snubble but we are still looking for the hound hour we are also looking for the sun kern and the not to so hopefully hopefully fingers crossed we can find one of those tonight as I say that a sun kern pops up let's click on the sun kern Nope. I'm hoping I'm hoping we can get one before the end of the event, guys. Cause I believe it ends in a couple days. I'm just throwing on my shoes. Send that snubble up here. Hey Alec! Yeah, I wish I wish I could. It took me forever, forever to get that one. We got a Shuppet here. Let's click on the Shuppet. I still have not got a shiny Shuppet. Nope. We didn't get the shiny Shuppet. And we can't even throw the ball at him. There we go. We hit him. He's probably going to pop out, but we hit him. Alright, let me get my Charger Pack and everything. So that we can try and go as long as possible. And then we will head out, hit our polka stop right down the road. I feel dizzy from the glitch. Uh, which glitch? Which one? Niantic's got so many glitches in the game. There we go. Put our phone on the charger. Again, guys, we just got done doing our pack opening. Got a couple hollows, which wasn't too bad. I'm hoping that tomorrow's, well, we might do it Wednesday or Thursday. Because I can only do two pack openings a week, guys. We're going to be saving our other, um, our other uh, Celestial Storm Elite Trainer Box for next week. Oh, the rotation one where it keeps turning? Yeah. Yeah, that thing is super annoying. Super annoying. Let me just light that up. There we go. And we're going to head out.
go hit our Pokestop. We've got about seven minutes till midnight. We'll go ahead and catch this Remoraid while we're standing here. Spin the ball and chuck it. Chuck it. Oh my god, what's going on here? Somebody parked their truck in my driveway with a car on the back on a trailer. Wow. Nice of them to ask permission, but whatever. Hey, Hot Pocket, thank you for hopping in the stream, dude. What's going on? What's going on? What's up, big homie? And we get a Mareep right in the yard. I will take that. All right. Ooh, that two, that two should be in the second slot. We need to have 420 Mareep. That would be nice. That would definitely be nice, guys. We're, we're going to walk down and uh, hit our Pokestop. Do a little bit of hunting until our battery runs low. And then we'll call it a stream for the night. Again, guys, been super busy. I went and visited Grandma today. She's doing a little bit better. Uh, Healing-wise. Feeling-wise, she's been... Feeling a little bit worse because they're kind of cutting down on the uh, painkiller meds for her. Which means she's getting to the point where she should be able to go home soon. But she's still hurting a little bit. So I'm hoping she will be feeling better. We got a nice breeze out here tonight. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay. And the breeze is not kicking up too much. But yeah guys. We're going to be... Uh, we're going to be... Maybe do a pack opening or something with Grandma when she comes home. I don't know. I have to see how she feels. I would love to do a pack opening with Grandma, even though she has no clue about Pokemon, any of the names or anything. I still think it would be fun to do something with her. But uh, I can't really uh, take them with me and go do it there because they do not allow filming in the uh, in the recovery center that she's at. So I have to wait until she comes home. But uh, I think that would be a lot of fun to do. And I'd love to do one of those with her. I would love to do some pack openings with anybody who can come down and visit. That would be awesome too. So I'm hoping I can get some people to come down. Again, we got our, our birthday. And next week, I believe. What is today? What's today? Yep, the next week, September 3rd, is uh, is my birthday next Monday. So I don't know, I might do a pack opening thing for that. Uh, I pretty much told anybody who asked what I wanted for my birthday, I pretty much just told them uh, packs and stuff like that so I can do card openings with you guys. Can you travel next year? Uh, definitely. After July 31st, I can do whatever I want. I can travel wherever I want. So I might have to set up like a PayPal donation pool or something like that. Uh, so I can rack up some money, save up some money, and we can go travel. I know uh, I was supposed to, I've been planning for a while to go up to New York and see Omni and the Burr fam and James and... Just everybody. Everybody is up over there. So I I need to go see them. I need to go see Panda Man and all and pretty much everybody. Will Rock's up there. I cannot throw the Pokeballs right now. So yeah, definitely uh, New York is definitely a, a uh, one of the main spots I want to travel to. Worlds is going to be in D.C. next year. I wish I could go to New York. I know, so do I, so do, so do I, but trying to save up on my own, it's just, it's not uh, feasible at the moment with the uh, little job that I'm working right now. But uh, I have put in applications. I'm trying to get a better job. I'm working on another one at a local grocery store uh, nearby. So if I get a job there, uh, my financial situation Oh, let me let me say that again. My financial situation will be a little bit better, and I'll be able to uh, 
I'll be able to afford to travel places and stuff like that and do more pack openings and stuff for you guys. Again, I would like to I would like to take a trip to Japan just as Omni is uh, slowly saving up and planning on doing. Uh, I would love to go to Japan. I've got roots there, family-wise. On my dad's side, they are from Japan. Uh, I have not seen my father since I was like four years old. So uh, I don't think they have any family over there anymore, but it would definitely be a nice way for me to get more in touch with my roots and stuff like that. So I would definitely, definitely love to go to Japan. Uh, I heard there's a lot of awesome, like, secret card shops and stuff there too. I've been watching Unlisted Leafs videos. He's over in Japan right now, along with uh, Nick and Reversal and just everybody who's over there and was privileged enough to go over there. Uh, would be nice to work with Niantic, being that I've played their game since day one, but uh, I'm really not a bigger YouTuber, so it's going to be kind of hard to do that. I don't think they like me very much. I'm a little more critical than most people about their game, about all games in general, so I'm hoping and praying that uh, I can figure something out take at least one or two trips next year but it's going to take some work again guys I set up stream labs only to find out that I cannot use that without a laptop or computer which is kind of frustrating but we do have a PayPal set up the link is in the about page so hopefully nope no shiny hound door Hopefully, uh, that goal can be, uh, you know, taken out and put put to the side. And I did have a $100 goal that I put up there like three or four months ago that is uh, still sitting at zero. So I don't know if that would be feasible. Again, it's hard, guys. I'm, I'm trying to figure out uh, ways to, to do this. But... Uh, yeah, it's, it's tough. Traveling is expensive, especially being that I've got all these legal troubles. i got to pay this stuff off first. But after that, uh, traveling in all kinds of places is, is fair game. Now, I can still, while I'm on this whole probationary period thing, I can still travel to places with inside the U.S. Uh, if I want. I just cannot travel outside the country. So if I wanted to go to New York for a couple days, I would just have to get approval and then I would be able to go and do that. So I'm technically, I'm not too bound to, uh, to Florida here, but uh, it would just take some organizing and stuff. So hopefully in the future I can do that. But for right now, I would love it if I could have people come and visit here. Um, I know Poke Girl is coming down to Florida soon. Uh, again, I'm, my city is not necessarily a, a destination for a lot of people. So uh, they probably won't be coming here. But I would have to see if I could find some way to uh, travel over to where people are at and uh, visit so that would be nice but again it's all speculation as of right now so hopefully hopefully fingers crossed I can work something out and at least uh, do something but I will still be trying to uh, continue to do the pack openings and stuff like that at least two nights two nights a week for the pack openings and uh, probably do some other stuff throughout the week but I need to try and con continue to consistently do stuff every day I hope my chat is on and working there we go hashtag like spike everyone thank you Ravina yeah make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already hit that notification bell share the stream 
And yeah, guys, we're just going to walk around a little bit, see what we can find. Walk back over to the house. We're already down to 65%. Man, this, uh, this phone. I definitely need to get a new phone and a laptop before I go anywhere so that I can get footage of where I go, do live streams, stuff like that. Something more than uh, just an hour's worth of live streaming. But yeah, let's see if we can find anything. But yeah, guys, we'll keep positive, keep our fingers crossed, and hopefully we can figure something out. go back in, walk around the neighborhood a little bit, see, see if we can find anything. Chromebooks are cheap. Uh, I'd have to look into that. I don't know how much that stuff is. I mean, if I can find two, three hundred bucks, that would be nice to do that. But again, I still have to do that in between uh, getting our pack openings. Uh, paying for these corpies and also having money for uh, living and stuff like that you know food for the house you know bills and all that kind of stuff so it's kind of rough guys but hopefully if I get this job it will uh, it will definitely help it will definitely definitely help Also, um, I was just watching on the news the other day, and now there is going to be apparently ads that you cannot skip on YouTube, so that's going to help with uh, monetization for a lot of bigger YouTubers. Again, that really doesn't help me, being that I'm not monetized. Uh, the only way for me to get monetized is to hit that thousand subscriber mark. And then I can set up monetization. But until then, uh, I, I will not be making any money from YouTube or anything. But hopefully, once we hit that thousand subscribers, anything that we would make through the YouTube channel, anything donated to the YouTube channel, will be used solely for the YouTube channel and travel and stuff like that. So uh, I did have a couple donations uh Back months and months ago, I sent some of those uh, donators some cards and stuff. It took me a while to do, but I sent cards and stuff. And to me, it's still sitting in the PayPal. I have not touched that. I will not touch that. That is going to be the YouTube channel to go to either a, a vlogging camera for us or a laptop. Or something like that. Something that we will use to make better content on the channel. Run a hundred dollars or so. That's not bad. That's not bad. Well, in that case, then we have almost half of the donations we need to get a Chromebook. Although I would have to find one somewhere cheap enough for me to pick up. Unless I can find a computer here cheaper. But again, I try not to discuss too much about finances and stuff. Oh, we are reaching the maximum amount of our data, guys, already. Which is okay. okay the beginning of the year or the beginning of the month we were getting more data although this will probably slow the stream down a little bit I will probably only run to about 40% of my phone battery because I don't want to risk the stream dropping on me too much so we'll just walk around the neighborhood a little bit try and catch some more stuff and then head back over to the house, we got a random hair across there. Oh my gosh, there there's so many of those. I'm not gonna catch it, guys. There's so many of them 
around that it would literally be a waste. There's a Corsola too. Like there's so many of these guys. Like I'm telling you. That have egg space. With international eggs. Yeah I do. I try and make sure I have bag space. I'm trying to get rid of a couple 2k eggs right now. Uh, freaking Corsolas. I mean to a lot of you guys. You're like. I know I wish I could have a Corsola. You know. But to us they spawn in so frequently. That is just like, er, oh my god, little dogs, shut the heck up, man. Annoying. Hey, Nini in the building. What's up, Nina? Thank you for lurking. How are you doing today? We got Meryl. I got too many Geodudes. Uh, you could always use Geodude candies, though. That's definitely a meta Pokemon. You can use it in gyms and stuff. Corsolas are not really useful in the gyms. Once you've got your uh, your Corsola for the Pokedex, the only real use they have are for trading. You know, to people who don't have them. But if you live locally, you already have Corsolas. So, yeah, guys. They're not too much use to anybody. You know. Corsolas are. Mm. I have eight Corsolas. Oh, he didn't ignore me. No, I wouldn't, Nina. I wouldn't. I never try and ignore you. Sometimes the chat just goes by way too quick, and I don't even get to see the comment. But I, I would never ignore you, Nina. If, if you're, if you're. Your name pops up there. I try and always say hi to you guys. So again, guys, please uh, don't feel bad if I, I miss your comment. Use hair across sometimes for raids. They could be useful. Yeah, they're, they're not too bad, but uh, there's a lot more uh, useful Pokemon than that. Everyone in Europe has Corsola. Yeah, I know. Even, even now, like... Get Rise to meet up with Pokeworld. <laughs> hey, Alec. That would be nice. But she's way up in Orlando. That's that's a four, three, four hour drive. Three hour drive, I think. Depending on the traffic. That costs way too much for an Uber. That's a couple hundred bucks right there. I don't live far from Corsola and Heracross. I'm only like five hours away. Yeah, you got to pick some up. Do some trades with people. Uh, that's that's the most useful they are for is like trades and stuff people who don't have them What is up with this? This worm pole here but Yeah, I'm just gonna walk around the neighborhood a little bit call it a stream uh, We might do a raid on somebody depending on who's on do a raid, see who's out there playing, who's online, who's streaming. Hey, we got 420 of those worm pole candies. Still no shiny not to. I've walked over 80 kilometers now in this event. And still only got the snubble. And again, I got that while riding around with a friend. It's a ditto. I would take a ditto. Where, where is Warpole's hat? I don't know. I think Meryl took it. Meryl stole the hat. Good old Pika Blue. But yeah, guys, we got a couple good pulls out of uh, our cards earlier. Again, I did do that at the beginning of the stream, so if you guys missed that, make sure you guys go check that out. Dang it, we want this freaking, I want this freaking blue hound hour. Or, uh, I always know Meryl was devious, yeah. He, he's, he's evil, he looks nice, but he's evil. No more event, Pika's please. Yeah, I know, I know, I, I'm. I've got hundreds and hundreds. I could scroll through right now and probably take five minutes just scrolling through all the Pikachus. Solely because 
I don't have the time to spend to uh, transfer them all. At least not right now. I might have to do that one night. Go out and just transfer all the all the Pikachu's with the hats. I have at least a hundred, hundred and twenty of them. It's it's completely ridiculous. What is up with this hound hour? It does not want to stay in the ball. Now you can run away. Send send your blue brother over. Send your blue brother over. I'll catch him instead. Yeah, you can't mass transfer them. I know that's why that's why I haven't transferred all mine yet, because it takes so much time. You have to do them individually, and it's just it's a pain in the butt. It's a pain in the butt. All right, we're gonna click this sun current here. Nope. Yeah, stick your don't stick your tongue out at me. It, it looks like the emoji I use all the time. A little tongue sticking out to the side. Now Sunker, that's a little devious little guy. Always causing trouble. We're gonna walk back around this corner, walk down these little dead end streets and stuff, up around the back here, see if we can uh see if we can find any more good spawns. And we'll head back over to the house and uh do a raid real quick on somebody. If my guy will walk. Okay, thank you. Oh, we got our 2K egg hatching right here. Oh, and our phone is going off again, guys. Sorry. Hope I didn't hurt your eardrums there. And my phone's glitching up. We got a shelter. Not a shiny, but a shelter. Waits for Twitter notification to hit his phone. I <laughs> know. There's, there's so many notifications that pop up. I usually turn that off, guys. I'm sorry. I completely forgot to do that today. In between trying to share the stream, set it up, turn off the internet. There's so It's like a checklist before I can even get started with the stream. There's like a huge checklist I got to do. Hey, we got a Flaffy right here. We will catch the Flaffy. Heck yeah. We'll go... Ultra Ball with that, even though I don't think we need the candies. We don't really need the candies for them. We will take a Flappy. That's an awesome spawn. I will take that. I will gladly, gladly take a Flappy. Now, if we get a Wild Ampharo spawn, that would be awesome. Alright, we got a couple shiny checks here. Nope. Just catch that. Sorry, I like I missed that there. It's not a 420 though. I know. I know. It's all good. I'll still take it. Um, blue puppy? Nope. I got a 73 CP. Urgh. I gotta find some other, some other streets to go down. See if we can find some stuff. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to turn off that notification, guys. I don't wanna blow out people's eardrums here. There we go. Turn that off. Open the game back up. And away we go. We're gonna Head down all these side streets here. Oh, somebody is back there arguing. Neighborhood drama. We're just going to keep walking this way and ignore all that. But yeah, you guys, I was, I'm hoping this, this channel will grow a little bit. Again, people keep telling me, you need to make thumbnails, you need to make thumbnails. Well, I wish I could, but I do not have a computer to make thumbnails. I know, 
before you guys say it, there are a couple apps out there. They are all absolute trash for making thumbnails. I can't pull any pictures from anywhere else. I can't uh, cut them and clip them out and, you know, put them together to make a half decent thumbnail. So I'm not, I'm not going to do it unless I can do it right, you know. So yeah, I don't, I don't do thumbnails right now. Um, hoping to in the future. Again, people have offered for me, but they would have to, uh, they would have to have my account information, and I will not give people my YouTube account information. For me, that is a no-no. I've already had people try and hack my accounts. Normally. I wish I could throw this freaking ball. Thank you. So yeah, I'm kind of in a predicament now for that. Once I get a laptop and get all that set up, then I'll be able to do that additional stuff. But for now, we're just stuck with the uh, good old normal screen. I don't even think uh, YouTube Gaming doesn't even give you the option to set up a thumbnail. You would have to do that through a computer. So it's kind of a pain in the butt. It's it's ten times harder to do anything, guys, if you do not have a computer. Again, I run the entire channel through one uh, LG K20 Plus. One phone. Random pseudo woodoo right here. The whole channel is run through one phone. So, to me, oh, nice, excellent throw. YouTube creator app. I looked at it. It's, dude, I cannot use that thing. It's, it's crap. I cannot take pictures, crop pictures from online, clip them out where the way I want to. There's just no way to do it. It's absolute trash, to be honest. I'm sorry. Uh, there's, there's a, there's like four or five of them different uh, thumbnail makers and they are all absolute crap if i'm going to make thumbnails i want them to be good i want them to be worth uh worth putting the time and the effort into and i don't want to create like a half-assed you know thumbnail and if if youtube wants thumbnails so badly and that's the reason I'm not growing my channel is because people are not clicking on it because of a thumbnail. Then uh, those people I probably don't want in my stream in the first place because they're not here for the com the content. They're here for the thumbnail, which is is not what I'm about. I'm I'm about growing a com community of good, awesome people. That's why you guys are here. You know, I, I, you guys are awesome people, and uh, I'm not going to bring in a bunch of little trolls that are like clickbait 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 because I didn't get a shiny you know when I say I'm out shiny hunting doesn't mean I'm going to get a shiny you know and I just don't want to bring those kind of people into the stream if they're only here because of the thumbnail you know so I will continue to do do how I'm doing slowly grow a little bit at a time if if that's what it takes to slowly grow a little bit at a time, then that's what I'll do. Yeah, remember the EVCP, the EVCP of Toby, but he shy. Oh, oh man, I missed it. But yeah, guys, we are getting close to uh, getting this challenge done. I'll use two evolution items for that kind of stuff, get those done quick when I uh, accept these uh, field research challenges. So I'll get that this bottom one done fairly quickly. Four more days and we can move on to challenge seven out of eight. And hopefully we'll get some, we'll get our Celebi soon. I want that Celebi so bad. I need those Pokedex entries. Four oh five CP for everyone. I'm not sure. Usually I have had Celebi on my. How do you have Celebi already? Oh, did you go to? Oh, you must have went to GoFest. I got the Celebi through GoFest. 
That's awesome. I really want my Celebi. Because then I only need a smear gold to complete my... Oh, I know, Alec. I saw it. I'll, I'll check it in a minute. I'm going to open some gifts and stuff in a minute. So if you want to send me a gift, that should put you right towards the top of the list. I will check that out in a moment. I'm going to head back over to the house here in a second. Uh, I'm not going to open all my gifts tonight because there's a couple people uh, that I need to open gifts from tomorrow. But I will open a couple. I will definitely open a couple. So I'm sure... I'm sure you're ready up here at the top of the list. Oh no, usually uh, you've been pretty on the ball about sending gifts and stuff. So thank you very much. Again, I'm sorry I cannot open a, a ton or uh, send a ton of gifts. Oh my God, I hate these little dogs. Again, I'm sorry guys, I cannot send a ton of gifts. But uh, I do try and open as many as I can every day. Oh, there we go. Alec just sent a gift. But I don't think anything's going to spawn in here at the moment. So we'll go ahead and take a look at it. We got your buddy Pokemon. Oh, you got the sun kern. Is that a shiny? like my home area hashtag Celebi club did you just switch it to Celebi because I know uh, Niantic has this little glitch right now where if you change your Pokemon tell somebody to look at it it's not going to change the Pokemon right off the bat it takes some time for it to do it so I'll open your gift because I just hatched an egg. Hopefully we'll get it. Yep. We got us an egg. And we're working on Ultra Fins. I changed it to Celebi. But it doesn't show. Yeah, that's that's another glitch with, uh, with Niantic right now. I will send you a gift, my friend. Because you've sent a ton of gifts. I think I got a couple here. Oh my god, it's the same bad video settings. We'll send you a gift real quick. Again, I was only able to uh, pull a couple gifts today. Got a random Teddy Ursa. I'd have to reload the game and see if it pops up. But yeah, I know I've, I've seen a lot of people who went to GoFest with the Celebi on their shoulder. Well, flying next to them. I hit over a hundred stops a day. Dang. Hot Pocket said I threw... Uh, one second. I sent a gift once. I get through this scrolling. Oh, Alright, alright. Yeah, I know the scrolling is a pain in the uh in the a it's a pain in the a i'm trying not to curse too much here guys i know it's late night but there are some some kids that watch the stream from the other side of the world and stuff so i try and keep it pg again people can watch this again afterwards so i'm trying to keep it as pg as possible but uh every once in a while a uh curse word slips out and we i think we had four 420 uh Barrel candies, too. <laughs> it's pretty nice. <laughs> Free the search bar. Blue mugs. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping they add something like that, too, soon. Like a search bar. Uh, or just like they do with the Pokemon. You go in there. You hit the hourglass. You type in, you know, say I want Poker Girls 
thing, you need, you know, P O K E. Boom, Poke Girl will pop up. It's as simple as that. I don't know why Niantic didn't implement that from the start. But, uh, yeah, being that mine is Rise to Valor, R is way down towards the bottom, which means a lot of times my gifts don't get opened. But uh, Niantic needs to really, really fix that. I figured they would have fixed that about two weeks ago. But they haven't. They haven't done nothing with it. They haven't expanded storage space. I'm just like, what's going on? Thank you, Glenn, for hopping in the stream. I have to channel in her blink. Okay, and that was random. I guess we're not getting that chim chow. Hot Pocket just sent us a gift. Yeah, what's up, Glenn? What's going on? Now, I need to scroll down to the S's. Go ahead and open Hot Pockets gift. If it'll let me scroll. There we go. How, how was your day, Rise? My day was good. My day was good. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, do, do, do. You are. There we go. We got slightly warm Hot Pocket. And he's got a shiny snubble as well. Douglas, Arizona. United States. Yeah, thank you. My day's going good. How was your day going? I hope you had a great one. He got that shiny snubble. We'll send Hot Pocket gift on over. From here in Fort Pierce, Florida. It's a shiny bouncer. I know. <laughs> For the same here. I only got one shiny the whole event. One shiny the whole event. I keep getting these regular ones. A low CP. Just plain ones. But yeah, guys, we're going to catch the snowball. Check the sun current real quick. Probably head back over to the house. We will check and see who is on and maybe do a raid real quick, guys. I don't even know if we have enough people. We got four in the stream. That should be enough. We'll just hop over and let everybody know we're over. See, see who's on. What's popping? What's going down? Again, I want to get back to the house first. Again, Alec, make sure you're here. You stay around and type something uh, once I get back to the house. Because we need to throw you in that in that blue category, bro. I didn't get to throw you on last time. Because I didn't get back to the house until after it hopped out and had to go to bed. So let me let me get back to the house. Have the chat open. And then we'll uh, throw you up there, man. Because you've been here a long time. You've helped out a lot. Been a part of the stream for a while, man. And uh, being that a lot of my mods, pretty much all of my mods, have not been coming around lately. We only get, uh, once in a while, we'll see a familiar blue name, you know, pop up. Nina stops in the stream a lot, because she's awesome. She's been around since forever. We got Charlotte and a couple others that hop in the stream, but we don't see too many of our mods anymore. So we're just going to have to add new mods. So let me hop back over here in the house real quick. And we'll throw you on, bro. Ooh, there's frogs. I don't like frogs. I don't like change. Where's Renz and Mitch? I have no clue. They used to come in all the time. I think one time, like way back... Mitch got into an argument with Geo, and then I haven't seen Mitch since then. I come into Mitch's streams. Well, I watch Mitch's videos a lot, but I don't really see him. I've seen I see him in other streams, but he doesn't really come over anymore. That's how it goes, guys. 
That's just how it goes. Yeah, Renz could be sleeping or getting up early. Again, I do see him every once in a while. Hot Pocket is always here because he is awesomeness. There we go. Here we go. We got him in there. Here we go. We got you, Alec. We got you, bro. That's that's what I mean. We need awesome people that just come in the stream and hang out. Those that come in and ask for mod, those are likely to the people be the people that don't get mod. But uh, let me see if Renz is awake. Oh no, no, you don't have to wake him up. We're just about to end, guys. We're gonna we're gonna hop over and raid somebody. It's all good, guys. Oh, let me move the plastic out of the way there. Yeah, I'd I'd hate for uh for anybody to wake anybody up, you know. Yeah, hey guys, I think we're going to try and do, uh, I can check Twitter a bit of while. And I've seen Renz on the live streams. Oh, he's here and there. Uh, he hops in the Bird Fam stream a lot. Um, you probably most of the time will not see me say anything in the Bird Fam streams. I do hop in. I, I watch sometimes. I lurk. Uh, once in a while, I'll stay stuff, but I do have an ex that is a moderator over there along with her boyfriend and all her new boyfriend and all that stuff. So I really don't say too much in the in the streams, but much love to the Burr fam. I love them. Much love to Teddy and Kim and Bouncer. We love you guys. If they do end up seeing this, we love you guys. And uh, sorry, I haven't been in the chat so much. If they do see this. But yeah guys. We're probably going to. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Probably exit out of the game. Real quick. Because there's not too much else around. We scan the whole neighborhood. Uh, we'll exit out of the game. Hopefully the stream does not drop on me. If it does. I will be right back to set up. And organize our raids real quick. The daily basis, how they feel about people ask on the daily basis, how they feel about spoofing. I know, and it's just like, uh, it shouldn't matter. Hey, there I am. There's my stream. No, guys, uh, let's see. Do -do Brattles is on. We've got Jono's on. Is Shadow still on? Let's go over and see if, uh, see if Shadow's still on. Yeah, Shadow is still on. He's only got two viewers, guys. So, uh, Let's go over to uh, Shadow Black real quick, guys. Hit him with that Rise Raid. I know he's uh, he's not really a Pokemon Go YouTuber. He plays Fortnite, and uh, he's playing GTA right now. He is a really good dude, awesome guy. Uh, I've been in a lot of his streams, so let's hop over there real quick, guys, and say what's up to him. Hit him with that rise raid, guys. Oh, Nina's over there. You guys throw throw him a rise raid. And uh, yeah, guys, we're gonna end the stream here. Thank you guys so much for uh, hanging out. You actually met Shadow Black. I know he's an awesome dude. He's an awesome dude. Yeah, you guys go over, hop over there real quick. Show him some love. Hit him with that rise raid. He's playing Sorry. some. Uh, I think he's playing. Uh, yeah, he's playing uh, online there. <laughs> we'll hit him with the live yeah, chat. Catch him off guard. So you guys, yeah, out. guys, Sorry. we're going to end the stream. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. We really appreciate it, guys. Uh, you guys have been awesome. We're going to close out of that. Thank you guys again for hanging out and watching and just chilling with me real quick. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next stream. Oh, it's all good, Glenn. It's all good. It's all good, my dude. Just you hopping in means so much. You can always watch it back, my dude.
to my man. Just just you hopping in matters a lot to me. Again, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe, notification bell, all that fun stuff. Check out my Twitter at Rise to Valor 40. Check out my Instagram at just Rise to Valor. Uh, join the Discord. It is over here. I will show you guys in the about page. If we head back, we just go over to my channel, Rise to Valor Gaming. If you scroll over to the right, hit the about page. All my links are right there in the about page. We got our Twitter, our donations, we got our Discord, Amazon wish list, we got our stream labs, soon to be uh, P.O. Box, soon to be, uh, you know, our personal business channel and all that good stuff. So again, guys, thank you so much. Make sure you got, hop over into the Shadow Black stream. Send them that hashtag Rise Raid. And thank you guys so much again. Love each and every one of you. Have a great, nice, great night. And uh, yeah, guys, peace. We'll turn on the face cam real quick so I can throw y'all a piece. Deuces, homies. Love you guys. Peace.